Learn to lead. We make winners who lead. Hello students, greetings from Firebird Institute of Research and Management. Last minute preparation strategy for the upcoming Feb Mat 2023 is to be conducted by Firebird Institute of Research and Management, a free national level webinar on coming Feb 23rd, Thursday at 8 p.m. If you want to enroll for this free national level webinar, kindly enroll through the link provided in the description box. In this webinar, we are going to learn many shortcuts which is to be useful for the upcoming MAT exam in the data analysis and sufficiency part. So don't forget to join this webinar to get some knowledge about mathematical skills. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss about the Feb MAT question paper, the data analysis and sufficiency answers part one. Already we have provided few videos based on December Mac 2022 and Feb 2023 question paper. So let us provide you the link in the description box. You can refer it. In this video, we are going to give you an important question that was asked in the recent Feb Mac 2023 question paper. Watch this full video to learn the complete shortcuts. Now, see, this is a question based on Feb Mac 2023 question paper. Study the following two pie charts giving information about the breakup of employees working in different categories in a government department for two successive years and answer the question on that follows. See, in 2017, the total employees of the company are 42,980. Okay, so the employees, these 42,980 employees are working in different sectors like domain experts. In domain experts, 15% of the employees are working and in establishment, 27% of the employees and in finance, 22%, accounting, 20%, buying, 6% and costing, 10%. Okay, this is the split up in the case of 2017 total employees. Okay, now, let us see for 2018. In 2018, the total employees split up. Let us see. In establishment, they have given 27%, finance 21%, accounting 22%, buying 10%, and costing 11%. Okay. And also in domain expertise, under domain expertise, 15% of the employees are given. Now, let us move on to the question. See this question now. See, let me write, write the split up here. In 2017, the total employees are 42,980. Okay. And in domain expertise, 15% of the employees are working. And in establishment, 27%. And in finance, 22%. And in accounting, 20%. Buying, 6%. And in costing, 10%. In 2018, the total employees are 48,640. In domain expertise, 9%, right? And in establishment, same 27%. And in finance, 21%. And in accounting, 22%. And in buying, 10%. And costing, 11%. Now see here, the number of which of the following categories of employees has increased in 2018 as compared to 2017. See, let us see, check first buying. In case of buying, 6% of the employees are working in 2017. What is 6% of 4,298? We have to check. Okay, so we know that 10% of 4,000, 
4298 is nothing but 4298 okay if i want to take five percentage it is enough if you take half of the value it is 2149 and one percentage is nothing but 429.8 you can take it as 430 so i'll get the answer as 2579 for working in uh, those five, 2,579 employees are working in 2017 under buying. Okay. In 2018, under buying 10 percentage. It is around 4,864. So, when compared to 2017, in 2018, the number of employees are more. So, let us choose the option as A. Okay. So, in case of domain experts, see here it is 15 percentage and here it is 9 percentage. See, what is 15% of 4,298? See, 15% if I add both the values, I'll get. So, it will be above 6,400. Okay, what is 9% of 4,864? It will be uh, 48,640. Uh, the 9% is less than 4,800. So, definitely there is a decrease in domain experts. So, definitely it is not the answer. And in case of costing, if you take costing, 10% in 2017. So, in case of costing in 2017, 10%. So, 42,000, 4,298 is the 10% of the value. And here, it will be more than 4,864, I know. So, in compared to 2017, in the case of costing also, there is an increase. So, you can choose both the option as here and so. Right? Now, let us move to the next question. Let us keep the table as it is for our uh, comparison. Now we'll move to the next question. Number of accounting employees in 2018 was approximately what percent of those in 2017? See, how many people are there in accounting in 2018? In accounting 2018, what is 20 percentage? 4,864 into 2. Okay, see 4,000 into 2, 8,000. 800 into 2, 9,600, 9,600. 9,600 plus 128, 9,728 employees are there. Okay, plus you have to add what? Another 2 percentage. Another 2 percentage is nothing but 972.8. Okay, another 2 percentage, this is nothing but another, yes. So, if I add both the values, I'll get around 0, 0, and then uh, 7, 10,700. Okay, 10,700 employees are working in 2018 under accounting department. Okay, now, here in 2017, 20 percentage of the total employees. What is 20 percentage of the total employees? So, 4,298, you just double that. If we, if I take 4,298 as 4,300, 4,300 into 2 is 8,600. So, it is almost around 8,600. So, they are asking what percentage? See, 10,700 divided by 8,600. What percentage? They are comparing with the 2017. So, that value should be in the denominator. 0, 0 will get cancelled. Okay, so now if I uh, I cannot cancel 107 and 86 in any table, but if I take, if I divide or, see, this is more than 86, right? What is 50 percentage of 86? 43. So, 86 plus 43, I'll get around 129, but 129 percentage is not an answer. Okay, but 107, it is nearer to 129. So, my answer is, Definitely 125 percentage is your answer. Okay, this is how you have to solve. You cannot get the answer if you solve step by step. It will take long time. Right? Now. Now see the next question. Approximate difference in the number of employees in buying category between 2017 and 2018. So, what is 6 percentage of 2017? 10 percentage, I know it is 4,298. 5 percentage, half of the value 2149. 
And what is 1 percentage? 430. 9, 7, 2, 5, 4, 7. In 2017, buying category 2,579 or there. And in 2018, in buying category 4,864 or there. So what is the difference I'll get? 4,864 minus 2,579. So if I subtract, what is 14 minus 9? 5. And again, 15 minus 7? 8. So next one, 7 minus 5? 2. Okay, so 2285 employees. Okay. That is the difference between the employees in buying in both the years. Okay, so these kind of questions involve calculator part. So definitely you have to practice speed max while solving the problems based on data interpretation. Then only you can solve a problem within the given time limit. Next. See the next question here. The total of which of the following pads of employees in 2017 is really equally to accounting category employees in 2018. Which of the following pads of employees category in 2017 is really equal to. See, if you add really, it should be equal to the same. If you see buying and costing. So in case of buying and costing, totally there are 16 percentage. Okay, if I add both the values, see in 2017 and in 2018, it should be same. See, what is 16 percentage of uh, 2017? Oh, sorry, 16 percentage of 40, 2098, uh, some value you will get. But 21 percentage of 4,8640, definitely it will be large. So buying and costing cannot be my answer. Then accounting and costing. If I take accounting and costing, in accounting and costing 30 percentage in 2017, and in accounting and costing in 2018, it is around 33%. Definitely, I know that the total employees in 2017, in 18 is increased in from 2017. So definitely there will be an increase. Though both won't be same. Next, domain experts and establishment. In case of domain experts and establishment, what is 15 plus 27? 37, 42%. And here it is around 27 plus 9 percentage. 36 percentage. So, even though the percentage in 2017 is greater than 2018, but the total number of employees present in 2018 is greater than 2017, isn't it? So, you can consider this option. Wait, we'll check all the next fourth option. So, costing and domain experts. See, if I take costing and domain experts in 2017, it is around 25 percentage. In 2018, it is around 20 percentage. So both you have to write. What is 25 percentage 4,298? So for 4,298, if you want to take 25 percentage, I'll just divide it by 4. Right? 1 times 0, 28, 7 times 18, 16, 4 times 10,745. What is 20 percentage of this? It is also around 10,700. So both are almost equal, right? Now, if I take data, domain experts and establishment, so it is around 42 percentage. What is 42 percentage of 4,298? So, 4,298, if I take it as 4,300, 10 percentage, 40 percentage into 4. Okay, 0, 0, 2, 1, 7, 2, double 0. And again, you have to add 2 percentage. So, what is 2 percentage? 430. 430 into 3, 860. 0608, 1860. Okay. And here in this case, 36 percentage. 36 percentage of 48,640. So, 10 percentage is 4,864. And just do with the 20 percentage. So, 4,864 into 3. 4,000 into 3, 12,000. 800 into 3, uh, 2400, 16 to 3, 180, 4 threes are 12, 2, 1, 5, 4, 1, 4, 5, 9, 2, 0 answer. There is large difference in this case, right? So, my exact answer is costing and domain experts. In costing and domain experts only. Both the, both the pairs are same both in 2017 as well as in 2018.
Okay, now let us remove the next question. Yes. Then, which category of employees has recorded the maximum percentage growth from 2017 to 2018? Buying domain experts, percentage growth. Buying, see, in case of buying, 6 percentage, 10 percentage. So, only only up to 4 percentage. In case of domain experts, 15, 9. It is around decrease, right? So, domain experts cannot be my answer. In case of costing, Definitely don't give you the difference. Okay, accounting 20 percentage, 22 percentage. But the major difference lies with the buying. In case of buying, here it is 6 percentage. What is 6 percentage? So, what is 5 percentage? 2, 1, 4, 9. Okay, 6 percentage, add another 430 with this. If I add another 430, I'll get 2579. Okay, and then in case of buying here, 4,864. Okay, so in case of buying, there is a large percentage in difference and increase. There is a large percentage in difference and increase, right? So buying is your answer. Okay. See, now I hope you all got some ideas regarding the uh, FebMAT data interpretation analysis. So don't forget to join our free national level webinar on 23rd Thursday at 8 o'clock. Thank you all students. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. And our next video, we are going to release Mathematical Skills Part 2, Questions and Answers Part 2. So don't forget to subscribe our channel. All the best students. Learn to lead. We make winners who lead.